guys, we are we are getting here. I'm feeling the feeling that we will form it today, but we're going to have to move fast and we're going to have to use our time very, very effectively. We literally um, basically have to get this exactly correct about what we need to research, what we need to research quickly. Um, research and nanotubes, super splicing. We need to make sure we get really light and fluffy technologies so that they will, you know, like us. Um, but sadly, there's not many more light, fluffy technologies that we can get except for ground. Nanotubes and super splicing and personal shields are really ones that we're going to have to go to. Or graviton gun and all these kind of things because we're basically in a race against time, people. A race against time to see who can, who can like de decrease faster, them or us. And I'm really not sure who can decrease faster, them or us, but we're going to have to see. Um, do they already have high explosives? I'm not... This is really... We're going to have to invest in only stuff that they don't have. Because if they don't have it, then this is really good for us. Uh, let's see. Ground power, high explosives, high explosives, high explosives. They have no need for high explosives. So that that's an example of where something I would have researched it and wasted our time. We don't, they don't really need it. Ground, they really just need ground power. So we're going to have to start researching ground power a little bit. Um, let's start researching that. Super splicing. So we just need to get to 90. We just need to get to 90 and we're fine. Okay. Research this and then research, um, uh, teleportation. Let's see, that's two techs right there that I get down pretty quickly. There we go. Then go to the collectives, Galaxians, new. Go to Galaxians, and uh, let's start trading. Super duper splicing. 90. Yes! Yes! I got it! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Federation deals. Created! Hallelujah, 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 yes! Okay, now that they are finally all united, we finally got the Federation on the board, people. Oh my goodness, that took literally forever to form. Like, not just forever, but that took literally forever. So now that they are officially in the Federation, we can now, from here, in fact, I'm even going to save it. I'm even going to save it. So, the Federation. From here, what we could do is, let's see, how the relationships teaming out to be? Uh, you know, if we wanted to, we could probably use, like, the majority of these guys to, like, get the rest of the people in. But, like, I don't really care about the rest of the people because now that I have the race I actually want in, it's just now time to go destroy the rest of the races. I mean, it sounds mean, but it's now time to go destroy the rest of the races! Yay! And uh, what I could do right here is start moving into property development, uh, do something really, really long and arduous. Let's do the Graviton Field. And just see how all the races unite against each other. Okay. Um, we need to start. I think the first people we're actually going to destroy are the Bullusk. So let's see, they're at war with the uh, Skalaxians and the uh, and the uh, Thraxians. So we need to start teaming up all of our allies to uh, coordinate everything. So let's see, the Armadarian Parliament, I need to make a, we already got the Federalist form, which is good. Uh, Book of Trade, don't really need to do that. Share technology with another race, I don't really care about that anymore. Um, join Federation. Let's see, we also could, I guess, in a sense, try to convince other races to join us. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be too hard. Pacify, no, I don't want to do that yet. Stop, at attack another race. Freedom of exchange, free return of prisoners, 15 idolized, prisoner exchange. Yeah, let's get some money off of this. Like, seriously, we already have enough relationship with these guys. Get some money off of them. Okay. And yeah, what we could try to do is try to get other races... Ah, get off my screen. Alright, we could try to get other races to try to join us. Uh, it is going to cost... 
us a lot and it could be really quite costly if I must be honest with you it could be really quite costly uh, do we want to do that hmm I don't know do we <laughs> this is this is a pretty good point where we're like we got everything we needed to do I mean we really don't really need to like have anyone else join the Federation we have everyone we need we just need to go destroy the rest of the races in fact I'm just going to help us spies buy some gossip hey would you like some gossip minor gossip dang it all right I mean, we could definitely assassinate some of the uh, Bullas Warlords to make our bribes a prisoner exchange, make our lives a little bit easier. I mean, honestly, challenge these guys to a duel. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'll be challenging who to a duel? I'll be challenging Ulug to a duel. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I challenge Ulug to a duel and I gain 3,000 leverage. Oh my goodness. That seems kind of like if you lose, you're dead. If you win, then there will be have a new Prime Lord and replace a new guy. And there's some major leverage over the next guy from the start. A mixture a mixture of tier and respect and gratefulness for murdering his predecessor, I think. Okay. That could be easily done. Nah, you know what? This was the campaign I was in. I decided this was not my goal to try to unite the entire world. I just wanted to unite the all three peaceful races, so yeah. Let's just go on a massive conquest spree. First, let me also help uh, uh help these guys build the scientific outpost back. Or well, at least one of the places I accidentally took when we were trying to just form the Federation. Seems like there's lots of lag going on. I'm going to decrease this by a little bit. And let's just fast forward. Okay, and now what we need to do is uh, start finishing off some of these other races. Uh, I'm pretty sure all the other races are not as advanced as like these guys, because these guys were just insanely advanced. I mean, we are literally like, let's get some population stuff done. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep with the Peltians because they're basically my sea, they're basically my uh, shipbuilding people, and we built up so much. We built them so much up. They're basically like the ultimate scientific people in the entire galaxy. I think they lost like two of the outposts though, so let's build like one scientific outpost so we have two outposts, there we go. Can we build another one? Or are you guys not willing to make another one? You guys aren't willing to make another one? Okay, we'll make a militaristic outpost. I really don't care. Because literally, oh my goodness, the Thraxians are now becoming are now becoming a problem. Yeah, there we go. Build, yeah, build your militaristic outpost. Seriously, the Thraxians you guys don't understand, I literally can can just keep on building these guys up. And I literally will keep building these guys up until all of until they're all like good. And look at that. Look how much we're building these guys up quickly. Building up them so much is not even in, insanely funny. We are the ultimate builders. But they really need to destroy how come they have not destroyed the uh Bullusk yet. That's the only thing I am kind of wondering about is why hasn't the Bullusk died yet? Like, really? How come they haven't died yet? Seriously? Wow. I mean, they have all their places destroyed. They have everything gone. They should be gone by now. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, let's build some more manufacturing plants. Just, they're building, I'm building up these guys like crazy. Anything else we need to build up? Nope. Alright. Uh, let's start Let's have the uh, Parliament of the Peltian Collective. You guys are going to mass accelerate your guys' Warlusk machine warship. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you guys by massing an armada uh, 60 turns. Right, there we go. Huh? Why didn't that... Execute, take action. There we go! Apparently I didn't take the mission, guys! And with all of us combining, we should be able to like slowly start to destroy whatever threats are in our universe. But we also do have a lot of different little problems here and there. Like for the for the fact that we still have uh, we still have uh, these Galax we still have the Thraxians involved, which probably I should start to like get my military. I don't know. Uh, 
more centralized on one particular enemy because right now they are all just attacking their own people let's see are the Peltians are helping the uh, the Bolusk I'm pretty sure they're both attacking the Bolusk right now yes the Skalaxians and Peltians all right I need the Andors to join in all right so Andors what I need you guys to join to do is general agenda I need you guys to go attack someone I usually don't ask you guys for much, but yes, I need you guys to go attack. Well, actually, now I need to go look at which one of you guys focusing on helping, preventing disease, developing bank vaccinations, focus on helping everyone. Samaritans, the primary focus is trade, trade union, my vote is downtrodden. Wow, you guys are all very helpful people. This is a very enlightened race. I just want to make that very clear. These guys are very enlightened. Sadly though, we need you guys to go attack somebody else because, like, uh, we just need you guys to do that. Destroy spy probes, don't really care, uh, cause these guys, I can't believe the Bullusk are still holding on. Well anyways, I'm going to increase relation, gonna increase build up of their armada, just gonna keep casually increasing their build up, and that way, these guys, eventually the Peltians should be able to overpower the, uh, the uh, petty uh, Thraxians, because honestly, look at look at these guys. They're building up way faster than the other guys, and they already have way better economy. Let's see, what is this? Trending downward, fabled public order is insanely high. Economies of all three of these guys is just insane. It's amazing. In fact, I think they're actually synchronized now that I think about it, because they use all three of the technologies to fight with each other. Um. Let's see, is there any type of, let's see, let's go take this scientific outpost from them. We've paid a favor for them destroying the outpost that they had. I mean, honestly, I could probably destroy them entirely if I really wanted to. I'm so advanced right now, still. I'll give it a little bit. Just give it a little bit. Right here, we, we, and there we go. Conquer that, give it to, Give it to the uh, not Skalaxians, the Peltians. That way, Peltians get even more power. Okay, go back over here to Peltian land and start amassing even a bigger army. Yeah, they're just going to keep amassing a bigger army until they until they feel like they can go attack. I mean, they literally will destroy the Thraxians for us. I won't even have to do anything. For some reason, oh man, I really will have to do nothing. It'll be awesome. That attack right there, though, on the Burlesque is really confusing because they really should have destroyed him by now. I mean, they're holding out, like, insanely well. Is there anything I could go do with the CEOs, maybe? No, because the CEOs hate us, I forgot. Yeah, they do not like us at all. Okay. Let's see, just keep on, yeah, just keep on with your armada construction. Just keep it up. We're just going to keep building up as close to as close to as infinity as we can you guys have slowly destroyed almost all of the uh, Thraxians battleships as you guys can see they are dying quick like they are dying quick look at that look at the look at that planet that's almost completely undefended they can't even attack the one outpost right next to them like let me just go do some hostile action uh attack their fleet with some help uh yeah we could do this uh, with some help from the, uh, Peltians, let's get the Peltians involved on this. Let's see, Thraxian, I really don't care. Let's go destroy these guys. Okay. Let's go destroy these guys. <laughs> I should say that with much more vigor. Destroy! 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 Oh man. Let's destroy these guys. There, go right there. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, wow, they actually had really good defenses. That was something I did not expect. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. And let's not get caught in the death beam of death. I think that's what went wrong this time. Get into cloaking mode. Alright. Next, destroy all those guys. Next, let's see. Let's destroy these things. Let's 
things are really quite deadly, apparently. I want to thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.